Okay, so this is some sand that I got at the hardware store. Oh, it looks like there are little fragments, a few organic fragments in there that are the same color as the bag that it came in. So we have some uh, organic fragments in here. But you'll notice, unlike the previous sample, that this one is almost all the same grain size. And if we use the grain size chart, it looks like it's mostly on the order of the medi lower medium sand, uh, maybe to the fine sand. One of the reasons it's so uniform in grain size is they actually filtered it. Um, but we would say because it has such a uniform grain size that this sand is well sorted. And that's in contrast uh, to the one here that has a very wide range in grain sizes. So there, there, are very, there are specific definitions of, of well sorted to poorly sorted that depend on that, that range of grain sizes. And the other thing you'll notice is that there are a bunch of different colors of grains. Those are reflecting uh, different minerals. Uh, when I look at this in my hand lens, it's mostly quartz. And most of the grains are sub-rounded to uh, well-rounded. That indicates that um, they have been transported some. Um, they weren't directly crushed from rocks. So commercial sand can come from a, different, uh, a number of different places, uh, one of which is in river channels and uh, another is uh, crushing of a rock into finer pieces. Uh, because there's quite a bit of rounding in these grains, I think that it was um, uh, collected from an environment that had had some sediment transport. So for example, a river channel. The diversity in grain colors and thus compositions suggests that it is um, what we would say a chemically immature rock. Uh, as grains are transported, they weather, and more reactive grains react faster. And usually the dark grains have a significant amount of iron, and they react faster, whereas uh, the quartz grains are least resistant uh, to that chemical weathering. And you can see my uh, video on chemical weathering about, about those minerals. But, I would, but the fact that there is a wide range of different minerals, including some that are not very stable, um, suggests to me that this uh, was uh, near the site of erosion or in an environment that was fairly dry um, to reduce the chemical weathering. And so you get grains of lots of different sizes. Thanks for watching.